up, y'all? Y'all tuning in with Golf and Mook, y'all. And today we are back with another one, and it's only me and my beautiful mother. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Lee Red Hearts are me, and I told y'all I was gonna keep this thing consistent, so that's what I'm rocking with. And <coughs> God, excuse me. Y'all can see I didn't got black or Mississippi. I gotta tell y'all about that the next video. But anyway, I'm here with my mom, and I got me some fried chicken from I mean Fish and Wings. And my and I got me some red, I mean some beans and rice and some coleslaw and hush puppies. And mom, tell them what you got, girl. I have okra, chicken wings, and hush puppy and fries. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Yes, um, we are on our lunch break break. Mommy came to work with me today because she leaves tomorrow. I'm so sad. So since mom is about to already leave. I told her I was going to bring her in here today because y'all be like, your mom is so sweet. She's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I just love her. But God has really worked on my mother because she wasn't always the person she was today. Oh, God, she used to be awful. So I wanted to share some of the stories with you. Is that all right with you, Net Net? It's fine. Um, back in her day, they used to call her Nettie Get Wetty. I don't know what that means. But that was her name. So, now I'm going to let you show one of your stories. And then I'm going to tell one of my stories. And we're going to go back and forth. Okay. You can start. So, now, why well, I got to start? Okay. So, one story that I always thought was, it's funny now that we laugh about it. But I know one day I was um, at home. And I had just got done giving my kids a bath. It was real little kids. And I got a call from the police. They said, oh, my, they said, you got to come get your mom. She's about to go to jail. I was like, she's about to go to jail? So I go over there to see what was going on. Mommy was about, about 10, minutes, 10 minutes away from me. Yeah, I go over there. This lady is sitting in the police car. I'm talking to her, too. Hey, Mom, what did you do? And she got a bad temper. I said, Mom, what did you do, girl? She said, I hit him with the car. I said, Mom, you did what? She said, I hit him with the car. I said, oh, my God, my mama is about to go to jail for a real long time. That's how scared I was. So, when I see this man on an ambulance truck, he hit with a, he hit with the car so bad he can't even walk. So can you finish telling us what happened with that situation? Crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. The problem is he slapped me. <laughs> oh. He slapped me. I'm and then I had her. to pause for a minute. I said, did he really slap me? So. You know, I'm a woman and he's a man, but he slapped me really over an argument. So I lost it. I was in the car, he reached over and slapped me and I put the car in drive. Then I hit him with it. I Hold on, man. you said you was in the car and he reached over and slapped you. So was he outside of the car when he slapped you? Yes, we was outside. Okay, okay. I just wanna make it make sense. So fun. he slapped me, so I push, put the car in drive and I hit him. And then I put it in reverse, backed up, and I hit him again. So he went up in the air, he hit the car, and then he fell on the ground. Then I rolled him over, I ran him over again. So I was getting ready to do it again, but somehow I lost control over the car, and the car ran into a tree. So his kids ran outside crying, saying, please don't kill my dad, don't kill my dad. At the time, I was not thinking. So... I had called my friend, so the ambulance came. So I had I had left. So I had called my friend. Said, Hit and run. I asked. <laughs> I asked her. I said, "Could you come and break? Could could I come so you can break my hair? Cause I'm about to go to jail." She said, <laughs> "What?" She said, "You about to go to jail?" I said, "Yes." I said, "I said, Sierra, could you just break my hair? Cause I'm about to go to jail." And she said, "Yes, come on." So I went over there to get my hair braided. So when oh, I left, crazy. when I left, two two police cars pulled me over. 
I already know what they was pulling me over for. So I said, okay. So he got out. He said, can I see your license? I said, sure. He said, you know what you did? You can go to Marysville for a long time. I said, yes, sir. And he said, well, give me a minute. So I guess he ran everything in or whatever, came back to the car. He said, so you, this car, I just ran a license plate. He said, so you ran him over with his own car? I said, yes, sir. He said, and you still driving his car? I said, yes, sir. So I said, could you follow me home so I can park the car and so I can call my mother and tell her that child about to take me to jail. So he said, you might try to run. I said, no, I'm not, sir. I said, you can follow me. I live right up the street. So they followed me and they told me to park the car and they was going to have somebody come and get it because it was his car and plus they needed, needed the car for investigation. So after that, I started getting phone calls and um, the police came, he said, um, I said, um, okay, I got out, out the car and parked the car and gave the police the keys. And I said, so y'all about to take me to jail? Can I call my mother right quick and let her know y'all about to take me to jail? And they said, no, we're not taking you to jail. I said, huh? He said, we're not taking you to jail. He said, he didn't press charges. He said that, uh, he told the police that I knew I had to make her so mad, excuse me, because she never did that. He said, I made her so mad till she almost took my life. And so, um. Y'all know the laws had to be different back then because uh -huh. you would have been in jail uh -huh. still. So, he was in the hospital. So, and I went home all that day. I was thinking, I said, God almost killed that man. I said, but God, he slapped me so hard and I lost it. And so he was calling me from the hospital like, you broke my legs. Look what you did to my face. That man's hip, y'all. Mm-hmm. He said, look what you did to my chest. Look, look what you did to my forehead. And so people, we worked at the same place. So people started calling me. It's like, girl, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Uh, what did you hit him with? I said, I took the bottle and busted and I hit him across the head with it. And then girl, you with, was mad. And with the chest part, I had keys in my hand. So I had the keys. I was beating him and scratching him up with the keys. And so somebody came and ran on the door like, stop, stop. The police on the way. The police on the way. So I was like, okay. And so when he went to the hospital, the next day, he just kept calling me, talking about, you broke my leg. You broke my leg. I said, well, you should have never put your hands on me. I'm a woman. Don't put your hands on me. And so he said, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I said, well, okay. So that means you ready for round two then. And so um, he just kept calling me. So about two weeks later, he was like, I need your help. I said, need my help for what? He said, I need some help. He said, could you come to the hospital? I said, your best bet, it, bet is to stay away from me. I said, quit calling my phone. Stay away from me. So he just kept on calling, talking about what I did to him. I said, but what about you, what you did to me? And so he said, now I'm about to call the police and tell them I want to press charges. He tried to do it, and the police said he couldn't do it because he didn't do it in, at the beginning. And so he just kept on calling, child. So it got so bad when he got out the hospital. No, he, when he when uh, the people at my job went to go see him, they said, oh, my gosh, what did you do? You almost killed him. So the job wouldn't let me come back. They said that I probably would have lost my temper and went off at on somebody at work if they would have messed with me. So that wasn't necessary because I wasn't going to do that. And so um, eventually he stopped calling me. And so next thing I know, he packed up and he moved out of town. And he, to this day, he never came back to Ohio. So that was my story. Golly. So when I say God can do things, he can do things because if you know you're a good person and then you get tired at times when people keep trying to put their hands on you or try to push you over because you never know <laughs> how that person really is, you know, you never know, so. And nobody, and no woman mm -hmm. or man should mm -hmm. allow for a person mm -hmm. to abuse them under any circumstances. And I'll tell them, man, whatever you do, don't put your hands on me because I ain't to be played with. Don't put your hands on me. <laughs> Because you already a man, so I don't have those problems. I'm a <coughs> I don't have those problems. <coughs> I'm going to make sure I tell your new friend this. Mm -hmm. Lord, I don't want you to go to jail, child. Mm -hmm. and so, um, 
so that was my story but there's several more stories <coughs> and I, don't, I thank god so much because do you know how many times i've been behind the police car so that was my fiance so my husband so he got mad at me one day because i didn't you know i was going to work and he was getting mad because he wanted me to be at home more which i was at home more but i had to go to work so i was walking out the door he slammed the door on the back of my heel and it scraped the scalp off of my heel so you know that was that heel was burning so Not burning. i reached over in the truck i seen that jack he locked the door on me and i took the jack and bust out the whole window and climbed in through the window and i got that iron skillet baby i let him have it i let him have it like what is wrong with y'all men so the police came so they was like oh my gosh he said you seem like a such a sweet lady i don't want to take you to jail he kept <coughs> hollering like out the window he was crawling on the floor hollering out the door saying take her to jail take her to jail <laughs> and one of his friends came like no we can't take her you can't let her go to jail she have kids he's like no look what she did to me i can't get up i can't get up but recall you slammed the door on my foot so what i was supposed to do, just sit there and let you do that and so the police came he said do you got anywhere i can take you because i don't want to take you to jail and i said yes and i said you can take me over my daughter so they said what's her number i gave them the number so that's a different time yeah so this this is a different time so they took me over there she was standing outside and everybody was standing outside so when i pulled up in the police car getting out the car they all was just shaking their hair so it's so embarrassing because she said it was embarrassing so when i say god can change you god can change you he really can because i always been a sweet person you know i've been through a lot in life but guess what i still made it because god was right with me holding my hand help helping me go through what the things that i've been through in life so that's why i love the lord so much because he has saved me now recall i could have went to marysville for five years because that's how much the police said you could have went for five years and so god really has <laughs> saved me you know and i thank him so much even back then i was younger but guess what i still prayed to god i still talked to god and it was always in me i remember when i was five years old my mother said i used we used to have a a, a merry-go-round in Montgomery, alabama she said i used to say i'm going out of, outside and play with my friends and get on the um merry-go-round and i used to tell my friends i said wait i said i gotta pray first and then i used to get on my knees and pray and say i love you god and i love you too the <laughs> devil but see me being five years old i really didn't know who the devil was so as i grow then when my mother tell me that story and i look back i was like well i was telling the devil that i love him at five years old but see i didn't know no better but i know so i know a whole lot better now but yeah but i'm th i'm thankful i'm very thankful and that's why i love people i really do i love people so much you know a person never know what a person go through or what they don't been through so when you want to come along and you know smack somebody and so, instead of talking to them guess what you asking for it so now i'm a better person i'm a new woman in christ and you know and i still have you know things you know going on with people disagreeing with me feeling some type of way but guess what i don't even care y'all know that i don't care because guess what the same people that around here talking against me or feeling some type of way about me guess what i'm steady on my knees for you on my knees because my prayers can be saving you from a million things so be careful who you speak your mouth on you understand so my thing is i pray for my children all the time i pray for people all the time because i love people i really do and i'm here to let you know today this is my testimony because i have came a long ways and you know i pray all the time because i put i put god first in my life i remember times i used to put my children first in my life so i had to realize guess what sometimes your kids to turn on you so i had to realize that i'm putting god first i said because at the end of the day guess what god gonna have my back when nobody else do so i put god first and god knows i love my kids i love my kids but in this lifetime god come first because that's my best friend that's my friend and i love the lord 
and, and God knows, he knows I love him. He knows my heart. He knows I would do anything when the Lord need me to do something. Guess what? I don't waste no time about it. I do it because I appreciate him because I love him. And I love him dearly. You know, I really do. Yes, so that's my friend, y'all. And don't give up. Don't give up no matter how many hard times you are going through. No matter what trials or tribulations you are going through. Just know keep calling on Jesus. Sometimes it used to be a time I couldn't even pray because I used to be so upset or so angry or hurt. I couldn't pray. So I learned to say, just sit lay there and just say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Just keep calling on Jesus. So Jesus came and God came. He helped me. He helped me. So I'm here to tell you, don't give up on life. Don't give up because God gonna always be there for you. Only thing you have to do is call on him. And he's going to come. He might not be there when you want him, but he always there on time. That's because right. God is an on, on time God. And I love him, y'all. I really do. And I want y'all to know he's in my heart. Always been in my heart. He has saved me from so many troubles. So right. many. And you know, now I can share my story with somebody else because somebody else might end up going through the same thing I'm going through. But I wouldn't want them, you know, to hit nobody with no car or nothing, you know. So pray whatever situation you're going through in your life. Pray about it right now. Start praying about it because you don't want that situation to end up having you to do things that you wish you would have never done to a person. So whatever you're going through right now, just go take it to God because he can change anything, anything with a twinkle, within a twinkle of an eye. That's right, y'all, y'all. So listen, he going to do it. He will do it. And just let his will be done in your life. Let his will be done. And to all you YouTube fans, I pray for y'all all the time, even though I haven't seen none of y'all. But I love y'all. I love y'all. I love all y'all comments. I love everything about y'all. So just know Miss Jeanette is praying for you. I'm praying for y'all. So y'all stay prayed up and be blessed. And yes. I love y'all. And we, so I love y'all too. To and y'all know I love y'all too.